Hello, I'm Eli for Edu for Java, and this is uh, the tutorial number five of SQL. The title is going to be Joining Tables. Let's see what we can explain about this. In the screen, we can see the syntaxes of the SQL instruction select. Select, from, where, as we have seen in the last tutorials. In from, we see the list of the tables. We have already seen this, but uh, in from we saw only just one table. This really means that we can put more than one table. The question is, what happens if we put more than one table? In this case, I'm going to put a select a asterisk of all the columns, and I'm going to put both tables, books and edu.publisher. Let's see what we have. Let's analyze the results. I had registered three books in books, Java in 21 days, SQL in 15 minutes, um, and Android in 5 minutes. In edu.publisher, here we come, I had two registers, edu for Java and edu. Edu for Java and Edu. As you can see, for each register in books, there is um, a scalar product. All the possible combination of the register of the table books and the register of the table publisher. As we can see here, we have um, the, per the scalar products. We see Java in Java in 21 days with uh, the publisher Edu for Java and edu to sql in 15 minutes it has also the two possible combinations edu for java and edu and the same happens with 100 in five minutes edu for java and edu this here doesn't make uh, sense if we look at the index the id publisher of java in 21 days was edu for Java, not Edu. As uh, you can see, the field ID publisher is repeated. Uh, one is the fields from books, and the other one is the field of publisher. Here you can see the table. The table publisher with the number of publishers. The table publisher. And here now we can see the table books that has the ID publishers here. This means that the ID publisher of Java in 21 days is this one. Let's execute here. If you select just one part of the SQL and execute it, you have an error like I have it, I had now. You click outside and it executes. This register here makes uh, sense because edu for java is the publisher of java in 21 days um, the next one the second one the second register doesn't make sense because these two id publisher aren't consistent the publisher of java in 21 days is not edu it's not pu id publisher too here we can see the same thing, SQL in 15 minutes. This is not correct. This is the one that which makes sense. And here this is the one which is correct and this is the one which doesn't make sense. What can we do to something what can we do to do something which makes more sense? We can use the where clause and in this clause we set a condition. I'm going to set the condition here. Okay, this is the condition. We can say that we only want the field publisher, which is the same in the table publisher and in the table books. See? We are talking about the field ID publisher in the table publisher and the ID publisher in the table books. If we execute this, we have the only three registers which make sense. It's like 
if with this we filter the register which have sense, the combination which has sense. This uh, type of annotation is a bit complicated. Um, it's what we usually do for uh, to correct it is put an alias. For example, here uh, we write edu books a space here and a b. This means that edu books is going to be called b. And here we write edu publisher a space and a p. So now we come here and we can write b instead of edu publisher and we can change edu books for a b. If we execute again we can see that the result is the same and it is it's easier to read. Okay. We still can select registers here. Imagine that now we want registers but without the ID publishers. We don't want to see them. We can do this by changing and asking the title, the, the author and the name. It would be the, the title of the book, the author of the book and the name the name of the publisher. These are the data that make more sense for us. We execute and we can see there's an arrow here and we can see that we have the title of the book, the author and the name of the publisher. Name here is not very correct. We can come here and change its name by leaving a space and writing a better word. For example, we can name it publisher. P name is going to be called publisher. If we execute again you have here publisher. Okay, very well. This uh, tutorial is about inner join, particularly about join. What we have just done is an inner join. Another way of doing it would be to do this. I can say sele select asterisk from and I could write from the table books inner join with the table publisher edu publisher this means to join both tables inner join edu dot publisher after comes the the on which means it will work on the ID publisher. In fact, this is all this is the same as if we wrote this. Okay, let's execute this and we can see. Here we can see the result. We wrote asterisk so we can see all the fields but if you want we can put this here too and you can see now exactly the same effect execute okay this and this well we have an error wait and this is the same this um, inner join can be done with a where, but uh, a join also gives us another possibility. We can make um, a left join. Let's see what a left join mm, does. We execute. This left join is a shortcut. Uh, normally we write left outer join. The result is the same. It seems as if the left join is the same as the inner join, but uh, in fact it's not. From the scholar products um, there can be several combinations where um, here uh, we look at the table books we have a register we has to do with books in ID publisher we have one two and three registers but if for example here we created 
a new book for we can call it Ellie we can uh, say the author is Ellie and we put a uh, one 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 as zero which is the publisher that doesn't exist let's save finish this uh, wouldn't have an identifier to join with if we for example we execute here as you can see it doesn't appear why because there isn't a publisher for this book this um, book hasn't a publisher it doesn't find a compatible ID publisher so it doesn't appear now if we write left join we're going to see all the registers of the left even if they don't have an associated register and null will appear there uh, was no combination but all of them appears there is also a right a right outer join wait a minute right it's the same but uh, the second table will show we're going to prove it let's try to prove it we can change the tables from one place to the other we put um, table publisher on the left and we execute and you can see the same thing happens now all the registers of the table on the right are going to show even if there's no match on the ID publisher of the table edu.publisher um, it's a bit complicated but never mind because uh, with practice you feel a lot more comfortable okay See you in the next tutorial.